Hey, what is going on guys and girls? It is your boy Mr. Omega here. Today I got a DNA bomb game plan on one of the new maps that dropped down today on the Xbox One, which happens to be part of the Reck Reckoning DLC map pack, the last map pack that is going to be releasing on Advanced Warfare, or that has released already as of now. And uh, I just want to talk to you guys about the map as well. Apart from that, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the gameplay in the background. I'm using the AK-12. If you guys want to know what attachments I'm running on, I'm using a uh, suppressor, extended mag, and stock, I think it was. And I'm only using this class because my friend that I'm playing with, that I've been playing a lot throughout the day, I'm getting DNA on all the maps. Uh, his name is Hospital Madness. He was like, yo, Omega. Don't use the BAL, don't use the ASM1, so I'm like, whatever, I'll use the AK-12 with the suppressor because I like the way it sounds with the suppressor, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to drop a DNA bomb with the AK-12, or I'm going to try to drop a DNA bomb with the AK-12, so it, that's exactly what I did right here, and I end up going, I think, 37 and no, so it's a flawless DNA bomb with the AK-12, it's it's a uh, fast pace, but at the same time, the enemies were backing out, and then we only had one player like toward toward the last three minutes of the game we only had three players in the lobby so i kind of was running three minutes or like two minutes non-stop looking for somebody and then i almost died a couple times but i think it's a 37 and no flawless dna bomb so now let's talk to you guys and girls about the map but before i do i would say if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to click that subscribe button for more gameplays and commentaries of my own and also i would say if you guys are new uh thanks for watching thanks for giving me a chance just click that like button and show me that you really care about my YouTube channel as well as my videos because it honestly means the world to me when people watch my videos so you know let's get down to talking about the map itself as well as some tips and tricks on my own I want to give you guys and girls alright let's get down to it so as you may have noticed already there are a lot of structures or material things that you could stand on top of and a lot of people what they like to do is camp all the way on top of the things uh, but there's a crazy spawn in Oplink where they spawn behind the cave, like b back here where I'm at. And all you have to do is stay in the top side of the building and you can just kill them, destroy them, demolish them, rape them, whatever you want to do with them. All you have to do is just stay on top of the building, but beware that once you stay on top of the building for a couple minutes or maybe even longer than a couple minutes or less than a couple minutes, the enemy will know you're there. So I would switch, I would consider, or I would recommend, I mean, uh, switching from left to right uh, when you're on top of the building don't just stay on the left side because if you stay on the left side you will get you will get killed trust me you will I got killed on like 2 or 315 spawn trapping them like less than a minute so it would have been like probably a 2 minute and 50 second DNA bomb but what ended up happening was that I was spawn trapping so bad that they all spawned all around me and a lot of have a lot of people had low profile so I got smacked I got destroyed and you know I just I was really angry at that time but you know, that's the tips and tricks I want to tell you. Just try to stay on top of the buildings if you want, because you will get a better leverage or a better look at the enemy team. As you can see right now, I'm looking around. I'm staying on top of the buildings most of the time, and that gives me a head start or an advantage uh, to let me know where the enemy team are so I can kill them faster and stuff like that. As you can see, I just jump all over the place and try to stay on top of buildings when I see a lot of enemy team or enemy players opposing me. So now, guys, uh, I want to talk to you guys uh, what I think about the DLC map pack so far of Reckoning as well as you know uh, YouTube itself so let's get down to it uh, the map pack Reckoning seems to be it has two to three maps that I like out of all of them my, my least favorite one happens to be I think Overload Overload's that one map that I will make a video on that later on most likely not a DNA bomb gameplay it's just a different video because I don't really like playing that map and I barely got to play that map probably when I got on and started grinding for DNA bomb gameplay I actually played that map like three times in a row but after that I haven't been able to play that map or I haven't gotten that map at all the whole day but you know maybe if I get a DNA bomb later it'll be good maybe if I don't I don't so let me tell to you about YouTube for a point a couple minutes uh, YouTube is always acting up for some reason sometimes it uploads my videos sometimes it doesn't and when I upload a video sometimes the problem with uploading videos is that sometimes the sub boxes don't work and it's really annoying as I'm getting near the DNA bomb I just want to say uh, if you guys enjoy the gameplay and the commentary don't forget to click that like and subscribe button since my little sister is right around the corner and she's about to come and scream and call me my name and be like yo could you put some Dragon Ball C or put some some show whatever she wants to watch on Netflix and I really don't want to hear her annoying voice right now once I'm done making this video I'll just go and see what she's doing what she wants and stuff like that but yeah, I just want to say this Reckoning map pack, it, it's it's alright, it's better than the last one, uh, but like I said, my least favorite map has to be Overload, I think that's what it's called. I still have not, I only played about the map Swarm like about two times, and I, I like Swarm, you know, it's a pretty cool map, I want to play it more, 
But like I said, if you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background as we're reaching near the DNA bomb, I think I'm one kill off. I uh, just, I would recommend if I was you guys and girls, just don't go near that left side where I'm at because you could fall off the map and if you fall off the map, you're gonna die instantly. Once you touch the water, boom, you're dead like that. And I'm over here just jump shotting kids and stuff like that. So thanks for watching guys, until next time guys, and be your boy Mr. Omega, thanks for watching, peace out. Be for debrief.